GraphQL aliases allow us to rename queries in fields and is automatically available with all GraphQL schemas. If we query for our cart and the cart items, we can rename cart query to be returned to us as basket. We can also rename the fields inside of that query and we can rename any relations that those queries have and fields inside of those. This also applies to the response of mutations. So if we add a new item to the cart and we rename an item to name, you'll see here in the response we have title instead of name. If we now go back and we make a query to fetch our cart, you'll see that we have that new item with the name as title and created at as created. Another use case is when you want to fetch two queries with the same name. We can use GraphQL aliases to alias the query so we can execute both queries and return the results. So you'll see here we can return two carts. One is called basket and one is called cart. If we remove basket and run this query, you'll now see that we cannot do this because these fields conflict. But if we alias cart to cart two and run, that will be successfully executed.